Well done, lads. You did well with the Summers case. But we have a problem. The examiner received a new letter today. Do you mind if I take a look, Ray? Go right ahead. They've both been rinsed in gasoline like the previous letters, so I can't lift a print. No one else but the killer knew about this message. To suffer woes which hope thinks infinite. To forgive wrongs darker than death or night. Another snippet from the Shelley poem. note is from the Dahlia maniac. He definitely also killed Teresa Terrell. Mal and I agree. But where does that leave us? If this is the Dahlia killer, and he is responsible for the Terrells and Merlin, not to mention the Mollocks... Hang on a moment, Skipper. Let me finish, Rusty. We have five birds in hand and none in the bush. The department will not survive a scandal if we have to let them all go without catching a fiend first. Your careers will be over for a start, gentlemen. Looking in wonder... Ah, oh, fuck it. Well, yet I knew this run was too good to be all. true. I hid myself within a fountain in the public square. You like that stuff? What is it supposed to it's mean? It's supposed to... Forget what it's supposed to... What does he want? Where are you going with this, Cole? He's obviously taunting us. He believes he's far more intelligent than we are. Okay. It's some kind of story, right? A guy that God hates chains him up. It's an allegory, Rusty. A what? story with two meanings. A symbolic meaning. That's what he wants us to think. Could he be using it literally? Within a fountain in a public square? Could it be that easy? Could somebody tell me what the fuck is going on? The fountain in Pershing Square. Come on, we have a clue. Captain, thanks, Ray. Be careful, Phelps. This is his game you're playing now. Elizabeth Short, Betty Short, Black Dahlia. There is a cave, all overgrown with trailing odorous plants which curtain out the day. Where next? Elizabeth Short social security card. Jesus Christ. That's not all. There's another stanza from Shelley. Can you work it out? You got a city map? See if you can work out where he's taking us. I don't like this freak leading us around by the nose. Can I help you, sir? Detectives, LAPD. This is very important, sir. How do we get to the top of the chandelier? You what? Have a little faith, pal. We're in a real hurry. Head up to the top floor. There's an access panel and a ladder in the maintenance room. Let's go. Going out there, Rusty. 
Better you than me. Be careful. Could be a trap. Deirdre Muller's missing watch. Temples high of man's ear and eye, roofed over sculptures and posy. Where have I seen that? Jesus Christ, hold it off that goddamn thing! Find a rope, Rusty! There isn't time. Get you can swing that thing from side to side. Get it over the edge, then jump for it. Come on, come on. That was too close. Yeah, well, the higher you climb, the further you fall. Let's get out of here. Another Dahlia clue? No. A yellow gold wristwatch. A molar dame. Yes. And a scrap of the poem. Another location. If I can work it out. I'm pulling rank here, Cole. I'm not hauling myself up there. Go get him, Tiger. Slow me down anyway, old timer. Sometimes a step backwards is a step in the right direction. Guadalupe, ripped from Antonia's necklace. Round which death laughed, sepulchred emblems of dead destruction, ruin within ruin. So this is a treasure hunt. What is it this time? The religious medal from the Maldonado case. The Dahlia, Moeller, Maldonado. When this gets out, 
We still have to find the guy, Rusty. Another poem. Well, you must have some idea, right? Come on, Phelps. We're on a roll here. Don't let me down. These are my best shoes, Phelps. I'll leave you to it. Very funny. Whoa! You gotta move on, Cole. Those boards are sinking. You wanna end up like the other fossils? Gangway snakes around, Phelps. Can you see it through the car? Easy. How you doing out there? I'd be doing better if you were the one trying to get across this thing. Steady. Forefront of my thinking. Easy. A sphere which is as many thousand spheres. Okay, where to now? Harrelson's shoes. What is it? An open-toed white shoe and another stanza from the poem. Oh, I really thought that hobo bum did the Terrellson bra. Confessions from the insane aren't the most credible evidence, Rusty. Is this thing over? It's all part of his power over us making us run around all over the city for the crumbs he's leaving us. So if we keep this up, we can find the guy? Been in here, Galloway? No. I have no intention of going in. I heard that thing's tricky. I'm gonna wait here and have a quiet smoke. Think about hidden meaning.
once belonging to Celine Axford Henry. Thrones, altars, judgment seats, and prisons. No, it couldn't be. See? That was easy. I found Celine Henry's ring. How far does this thing go? How did we not catch this nut job? There's the throne up there. Now it's just a matter of getting to it. Now look what you did. Hang on, Paul. I'll get you off of it. You gotta make it to the next platform. Get that thing as close as you can, then jump. Typewriter ring. Evelyn Summers. Place he calls home. End of the line. down on I thought so too he murdered Evelyn Summers Rusty the last trophy was her ring you find another piece of the poem yes the last piece you sure Cole let's find out Reminds me of my days as an altar boy. There's a light coming from the house. Nothing hasty, gentlemen. Keep your hands where I can see them, or I'll be forced to redecorate the stucco with your entrails. We're from the LAPD, sir. I'm going to tell you only once 
to lower your weapon. The LAPD, you say? Is it really possible you could have found me after all this time? How interesting. Put down the gun, shitbird. Last warning. This boorish ignoramus could never have found me. It was you, wasn't it? Do you remember me, detective? The temp bartender. Yes, you found me. You know what I'm capable of, and yet you walk in here like lambs dressed for the slaughter. We'll see about that. Where did he go? Down the tunnel? You can't let the son of a bitch get away. The house, Rusty. There must be another entrance into the house. LAPD! Give yourself up! I'll go. Call for backup and keep an eye out above ground and see where this thing comes out. Don't let me down, Rusty. You're an interesting man, detective. Why the police force? You're obviously overqualified. Reinforcements are on the way. Cease and desist. Do I get a sense you're looking for personal redemption? Do you think we have something in common? Surrender now or I will... This thing has come to an end. You know that. Are you comfortable out of the light? Are you comfortable? You're exactly what I expected. We were looking for a low achiever. Where's the press, Gap? I think Phelps and I should get a medal for this. This has got to be the case of the year, right? The case of the century, when you think about it. Are you finished? Yes, Skipper. Good. Because there won't be any press briefings or commendations. What are you talking about? We got the werewolf, the guy who killed the Dahlia, killed all the other broads. You got no one. Mason was a ghost. Can you at least tell us why, Captain? 
Mason is the half-brother of one of the most highly elected officials in this country. How high? Beyond the moon for mere mortals like us, Rusty. There'll be no more mention of him. The city owes you both. But there'll be no mileage in ever bringing this up again. What's going to happen to the suspects in the cases, Captain? I won't be a part of that. A bit of missing evidence at the grand jury. A procedural error here, a mistake there. They'll all be quietly let go. The DA knows how we have to play it. That's it? I'm afraid it is. And I have some news for you, Phelps. No more rooting around in the entrails of cadavers and corpses for you. The head of vice has asked the chief for you. I'm reluctant to see you go to the glory boys of advice, but my hands are tied. Go home to that lovely wife of yours. Celebrate your promotion. <laughs> 